I used to use those sticky rollers, you know, the ones you rub all over your clothes. But I gave them up for Lent. For Lent. I don't expect you to understand my life choices. Just, just, just know that they are correct. They are correct. Welcome back. We are continuing Breath of Fire. Uh... This was actually... I, I, I played it for an hour uh, yesterday. I'm just recording these back-to-back. Uh, so -back. Yeah, like I said, the overworld is not very expansive from what I've seen. Huh. Rape and slime kind of go together, don't they? Don't, don't they make a cute pair? If there's anything cute about rape, it's, uh... It's that you get to eat jello pudding afterwards. I never realized, uh... Well, maybe I did. Yeah, yeah, it's been so long since I've played this game. Uh, so much alcohol in between. Other things, not so much. Uh... Rape reaches level 7. I'm not sure, but I think that uh, level 7 rape might just be Michael Jackson. I don't know. HP up 4, AP up 2, strength up 3. Come on, you idiot. Hit the button. Oh, wait. Vigor up too, but that comes in handy for rape. Maybe by the end of it, it's no longer rape. Maybe it's just fucky fucky fun time. You know, a bit of the old, you know, having the sex. This one, there's a little bit of grinding in this one. Right. Uh, <laughs> down one. You can't go down too much or you'll get down syndrome. And uh, the only cure for that, the only known cure anyway, you have to stand on your head while eating Cheetos. And if any of you watching this, have Down Syndrome, you, you you heard that cure from me. You stand on your head and eat Cheetos. And I want you to film that and post the link, because, and upload it to you to post the link. It, it can take up to like 15 or 20 times doing this. But I would like you to post it on the YouTubes, because I want to be inspired by you curing yourself of Down Syndrome. You see, Cheetos contain a special chemical called chromosomite. <laughs> and, and they take care of the problem. Speaking of chromosomes, uh. Like, the Tool Song 46 and 2 is about, like, supposedly the next step of evolution will be uh, 46 chromosomes and then the two chromosomes. 48 chromosomes, but I guess the other two I think are like X and Y or something. Or maybe they're... Uh. So I'm assuming people with Down Syndrome have 45 and 2. Maybe... Maybe... humans are trying to evolve. And maybe that's why Down Syndrome is so common today. Or maybe it was always common and now just people want to people wanna feel bad about themselves. So they, uh, they like, post pictures and things. I don't know. But yeah, maybe people with Down Syndrome are a stepping stone to uh, evolving 
like maybe in the next 10 years or so, maybe, there'll be someone born with Down Syndrome, <laughs> but they'll have two extra chromosomes, and they can make your head explode by looking at you. I don't know, maybe, uh, or maybe some of them will be able to walk through walls, turn invisible, uh, control, fire, ice. You know, some of them will have wings. Some of them will, some will be able to control magnetic forces. Uh, some of them. Hmm. Huh. I never realized how cool Down Syndrome was until just now. Something to think about. If I ever have a kid, I hope they have Downs. <laughs> but I hope they have Super Downs, where they have the two extra chromosomes, and... <laughs> like, maybe... <laughs> maybe have the one that's like, uh... That's like blue and can teleport into bank vaults. Although I'm thinking more of a jumper-style teleport, as opposed to, like, Nightcrawler. Yeah, see here, you have to go to this town in the dark. This is the one where that asshole from the last town, he said, We should sneak into the town of Nanai, or whatever. Nene, Shanene. Mm, child. Um, at night. And then I get here, and he's not here. But anyway, yeah, that's something to... I don't know what that thing is. Um, something to think about the next time you watch X-Men. Every one of them has super Down Syndrome. Which, uh, if anybody can make Down Syndrome cool, it's Patrick Stewart. Captain, chromosome levels are too high. <laughs> Maybe we should breed people with Down Syndrome. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> I'm probably going too far with this, but, uh... I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm onto something here. Maybe I'm onto something. Maybe... Maybe... Or I don't know, maybe the next step in evolution will be man-made. Maybe all these people, the, you know, the cyborg rights movement. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. There's a movement for every kind of right you can think of. And I do mean every type of right you can think of. Half of them aren't even rights. Well, some of them, I don't know about half, but... Maybe ten years from now, if the cyborg rights movement has any, uh, gains any ground, which I'm sure it will, we have the internet to think for that. And you know, I don't mind if people want to put implants into themselves, I don't, I don't, I don't give a shit. Hell, I think I read something about a implant they could put into your eye that basically gives you binocular vision, so... I mean, I... I almost... I'd almost poke out my eyes just to have that. That would be, that would be pretty neat. I'd be visiting a lot of nude beaches. Drop a compact mirror by the women's dressing room, and then just stand like 20 feet away. To put a camera in it, that would be really. Cool. Uh, it's taking forever to be nighttime. But I don't know, whenever whenever the super downs uh, thing happens, we might not even need implants. We might...
know what really pissed me off about X-Men? Mystique. I didn't like it that they changed the actress. Jennifer Lawrence does a good job. But she's too whiny. She's too whiny. They... Uh, she's like, oh, the makeup bothers me. The body paint bo So they give her the bodysuit. And you can tell there's a bodysuit anytime you see her from behind. And it really pisses me off. It is our right to see her ass. It is our God-given right. And I should know. But they, uh... Yeah, this is me. Every time I'm playing one of these, I have to check every corner of every house. I like how the chests remain open. The first time I played Knights of the Old Republic, I, um... I was playing it on the PC, and the chests, once you've opened them to get the, to get the shit out, there's no sign that it's been opened. So I would find myself going around checking the same damn crate three or four times. But especially if there's a map that clears out as you explore it, I have to get every spot of that map clear. So I end up usually finding just about everything in these RPGs unless it's just something absolutely ridiculous put a weapons shop in here. I don't need a weapons shop. I need I need herb. I need to buy herb. Where's that Rastafarian dude? Then they just put that guy there kind of out of sight. Whenever the cyborg's right, this movement takes over. Just wait. Anyone who doesn't like it will be branded uh, cyborg phobe. Cyborg phobia is going to be the new thing. Just watch. Prophetic words right here. Garen, goddamn, tee it. That's how you get any rights movement movement starting uh, started. Like uh, the people who are trying to legalize weed, all these people, they're doing it wrong. Here's what they should do: they should demand to be able to smoke weed, and anyone who disagrees with them is a canophobe or a stonerphobe. Pothead is a, and like if somebody says pothead, you say, hey, it's not okay to say that. That's that's a stoner phobic remark. You can't say that to me. Don't you you fucking intolerant bigot. Overprivileged shitlord. I wonder if the people who didn't smoke, I wonder if they could call them sick-gendered. Yeah, all the guards are outside, you know, nobody's in the castle. You, you would think they would have at least, you know, at least one guard in this castle. You'd think they'd have more than that, but... I don't know, I guess they weren't really thinking about that whenever they, uh... Whenever they created this. Go up here. Can't drink that. Go into this fucking dungeon. Oh, I'm gonna go up the stairs. Yeah, the throne room. Well, wait. Okay. The dark dragons, uh have taken over this village, I forgot. They, the Dark Dragons took over it, lowered the property values, so they didn't need to put any guards in the place. I want you to notice something about this dungeon. 
first of all, I wouldn't really call it a dungeon. More like lower levels. Extreme lower levels. And I'm pretty sure if you were in a cave that had lava at the bottom, you would be deep fried. I couldn't go on these adventures because I would need a shower. Like, there, like I'd, I'd have to travel along the river. And I don't care if it's like freezing temperatures, I'd, I'd crack open the ice and I would take a shower. Well, no, I would not take a shower because it's a river. But you, 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 you get the point. Don't crack wise with me, motherfucker. I also would not walk over a bridge like that. The intense heat! Okay, maybe I misnoticed something. That's a word. It's a word now. <sighs> Fucking pea bugs. I assume they mean pill bugs. I assume that's what it's short for. They're implying that all pills are poison. Straw hat. Yeah, whenever I get back to playing this, I'm going to um, go to the first village and gather as many herbs and um, antidotes as I can. Hopefully there will be a few. Uh, I hate these fucking angry birds. Tony Epp and however many go But yeah, as you can see, I leave no stone unturned. Generally, if it's a tough dungeon, I'll just level up until, uh... Until I'm able to. Oh, another complaint I have about this game. There's no run button. Or at least not yet. Maybe if I get another character in there, it'll be like the thief on Final Fantasy V, and you'll be able to run. You know, I still have a game going of Final Fantasy V. One day I might just start it over. I really don't want to, though. I mean, I've gotten fucking 60 hours in there, and I've done I, I, I've, I've done the Final Fantasy V thing like two or three times. First two times, I think I got to the Fire Crystal, and after that, they uh, once I got to the Fire Crystal. I either lost the save data, 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 either lost that or whatever system I was playing it on got destroyed or corrupted or something. Because I've tried it on both the Xbox and I actually had, or should I say have, a PlayStation 1 disc, uh, like Final Fantasy Origins. FF5. I think that was probably my favorite Final Fantasy game, it was 5. Although I haven't played enough into 4 or uh, any of the others. I really should, I really like those. As far as I can tell, the last good one was 7. And even that was overrated. And I hear they're releasing an HD remake, and um... 
I'm guessing they're probably gonna make the characters look, uh, you know, faggy. Because that seems to be what Square Enix does these days. They need to go back to their roots. I would love to see them um, create like a Final Fantasy V type of game with, all the, with the job system. Uh, where the characters didn't look like something out of a schoolgirl anime. Stop trying to rework the battle system. I liked it like it was in Final Fantasy V or whatever. I didn't. Was it 13 that did away with experience points completely? I remember. Oh, wait, no, I did like 12. I did like 12. I got pretty far in it. And then. The unfortunate issue with a lot of these uh, RPGs, I'll quit playing them for a while, and I'll forget what's going on in the story. I'll forget what I'm supposed to be doing next. The thing I was going to say I noticed earlier, you're going downwards towards the lava, so it looked like there were rooms below the ocean of lava, but I'm thinking that may not be the case now. Either way, he should have some at least first-degree burns all over his body. Should be wearing like a tinfoil outfit or something. These angry birds, you can take them out in one hit, but they're, they're still a nuisance because they can do a little more damage than the other enemies. More experience pulling some time sometimes they drop some herb. You would think if they had herb they wouldn't be angry. Gloom. They met rape and now they're gloomy. Almost to the boss. We would have been there by now, except for my obsessive compulsive need to check every single area of the map. And I mean that, it, it's like a need. I, I, I can't leave any stone uncovered in dungeons. I think that's why it takes me longer. I do te I do tend to find a way to exploit the uh, experience point system. Like I'll find a place with some. Like in Final Fantasy V, there was this uh, there was this spot up north. I think it was by a waterfall, <clears throat> and um, I think it was the Fourth of July. But I w I would go up there. And there were these little baby dragons, and I would kill the baby dragons repeatedly. I would even use the emulator to speed up the ROM so I wouldn't have to deal with it. You, you, you started fighting them, and you played the frog song or whatever, so you were able to, uh, like, usually it would turn, like, four out of five of them into frogs. And then I think you'd have I think you'd have like 2,000 experience points. Yeah, that thing to the right there. I should have clicked on that first. I don't know. I might. Might be able to beat him. You should be able to beat him now. Huh? I said 
You should be able to beat him now. Huh? You should be able to beat him now. Huh? Yeah, I didn't quite feel right leaving you guys hanging like that, so I decided to go ahead and fight this guy again. Goddamn bastard hole killed me. Um, well, we'll see what happens this time. He about to get raped. In a non-anal, non-homo type of way. He's going down. In a non-fellatio, non-homo type of way. Even though those thunderbolts do wonders for the nipple. Alright. Here's what happened. I bought a more powerful sword. I wandered around in this dungeon until I leveled up. I bought a bunch of herb. I, uh... I found out that in the original town, like the town I started out in, sold herb. I, I googled to see where a shop was. Sue me, I didn't feel like walking around looking for one. I googled to see where a shop was. Yeah, there was one right there in the main town. I didn't even think to. There usually is. There always is. I looked there, and it said herb times nine. So, you know, I consider myself to be more evolved, um, more evolved than other humans. Which means I'm a step past Down Syndrome. But sometimes that shows... Anyway, yeah, I, um, I thought that it meant that there were only nine herbs for sale, and it didn't seem worth it to walk all that way back for nine herbs that I would probably use while leveling up and going through the dungeon. But I got there, and it just means that they sell it in bulk! They sell you nine nine herbs, uh, which I think is a quarter by today's standard. Ugh. It was a long walk. A bunch of enemies I can take out with one hit. I can take out most enemies with one hit, most of them I'm encountering. I'm sure that's about to change. <sighs> I guess we'll find out, won't we? So anyway, here I am, taking out this guy. I think that might be the first time I've used actual text in, um, like, like, a text object in Sony Vegas. Not bad. There are a bunch of them. I really need to learn to actually use Sony Vegas. I need to take some tutorials and actually get better at it than I already am. Learn the ins and outs. Auto Ripple. I like the Auto Ripple feature. That's a pretty cool feature. I confused it for snapping once, and that was a pain in the ass. So yeah, I I got a bunch of herb. I got I got more herb than Obama in his youth. This night, I hate it when the fucking enemies use recover, but you can't stop the rape train. I think I saw his most powerful attack was like a uh, 20, so I just waited till I got down to the line. Let's see. Eh, not too much longer in the video. Oh yeah, did you guys notice I got a watermark now? I like it, it's got my face on it, so... Biased, you know. I think I think it's a good watermark. I'm not gonna say it's better than anybody's watermark in the entirety of YouTube, but it is. But yeah, it's kind of cool if you if you hover your mouse over that watermark, it allows you to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh find a key, will you take it? Don't look at me, I ain't the key master. I don't know how this goes. 
Um, yeah, if you like my shit, I don't know, maybe a little bit too early to say that. Is it? Is it too early? Yes, it's too early. Yeah. It won't be by the time I get done figuring that out. What's this asshole doing out here in the wilderness? Are you the guy that was going to come here with me and help me? Might be. Yes, I killed all those people. I feel no remorse for it. They were dark dragons. They were the bad guys. Apparently, we only like the the light the light dragons. Anyway, if you like my shit, please subscribe. You can hover over the little watermark, bottom right corner, hit the subscribe button. Please hit the share button as well, because I need all the publicity I can get. Uh, so if you will, just please tell all your friends about this channel. Um, hope you enjoyed it. There will be another video up soon. Adios.